Hi, I'm Jim Jordan, speaking to you from my office in Ashland, Oregon. Today I want to talk to you about cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular disease prevention. Lately I've had some clients, some more clients, I sort of go in streaks with different types of cases, but some uh, more cases of cardiovascular disease where um, the, the person has been told by a doctor that the they're at risk or they have a, a health issue, a cardiovascular issue because their cholesterol is high and they should be taking statin drugs and some have actually have occluded arteries, blockages in their arteries and they're often on medications or told to take medications. And I even have a case where now where there's a, a man who had had a quadruple bypass and uh, one of the bypasses is clogged now. and. So these are very, very dangerous cases, obviously, when people, um, their, their blood vessels get clogged and blocked. You can have a stroke or a heart attack. And I've had quite a bit of experience working with these cases. So the first thing to address is what is causing these blockages in the blood vessels. And the conventional view is um, that it's cholesterol and uh, platelet aggregation, which is actually to some degree true. There's blockages in the blood vessels of different clotting factors that are clogging the, the blood vessels, reducing the blood flow, which could create a loss of blood flow to the brain for a stroke or the heart for a heart attack. But the real question is what is driving that process? Is it eating foods that have cholesterol in it like eggs or butter or cheese? or meat, uh, and is that a problem? Uh, and the answer is no, that's not the cause of the problem. Your, your liver actually makes cholesterol. If you had a diet that had no cholesterol in it at all, your liver would still make cholesterol because it's, cholesterol is a fatty acid that the body uses for certain purposes, including building hormones, building cell membranes, and binding with toxic waste in the, in the body to pull it out through the liver, through the bile. So it is a um, normal thing that the body has to produce for health and some of that cholesterol can get oxidized or damaged by toxins or free radicals and then that could contribute to blockages in the arteries. But the big question is what is weakening, what is causing the damage to the arteries itself? And then what happens is the body actually will take something floating through the bloodstream like some some platelets, some uh, platelet aggregations, or fibrin, an inflammatory Klein factor, or some plaque or cholesterol, and patch up that weakened area if you don't have sufficient nutrition in your diet to rebuild and repair the blood vessel. So what's causing the damage is actually, so what's initially causing the damage are, are toxins, number one, heavy metals, chemicals, like uh, heavy metals like mercury, and aluminum, and lead, chemicals like chlorine and fluoride and pesticides and medications. And the next is sugar. Refined sugar products or high sugar levels in the blood will oxidize proteins in the blood called protein glycation and that will damage the blood vessels. So then you have a weakened area in the blood vessel in the artery and you have to fix it. And if you don't have the nutrients, the, all the nutrients are necessary, the amino acids and the and the vitamin C and all the other cofactors of vitamin C to repair that area, then your body will take some something floating through the bloodstream like some cholesterol or plaque and plug it up, plug up that hole. Then that could build up over time, those, those platelets and or, or cholesterol plaques build up over time and narrow the diameter of the artery. So that, it's in a sense, what, the, what medicine is seen as the cause of disease is actually a backup system your body is using to plug the hole. But we first have to get at why the, why the damage to the tissue is taking place in the arteries. And as I've said, those are chemicals and sugar. Basically, that's chemicals, metals, and sugar. That's, that's the ballgame. And a lack of nutrients to repair and rebuild the, the blood vessels. So, so if this is something that you're experiencing, if you're have, at your risk for cardiovascular disease, you've been diagnosed with uh, occlusion of an artery, a major artery, or if you just want to prevent cardiovascular disease, which is all of us, then you have to get the causes. And there is a, there's dietary protocols, uh, nutritional supplement protocols that will slow down, stop, and reverse these cases. I've worked with cases where there was 90, 80 to 90% occlusion of a carotid artery or coronary artery and the, and 
we reversed it within anywhere from two to six months. So it can be done, uh, and it is it just takes some intelligence, uh, some understanding of causation and the mechanisms of repair in the cardiovascular system. And that's it. That's what I want to talk to you about. Uh, it was on my mind. I have some clients who have these issues now, and I hope people that see this on the internet become aware that there's things they can do to reverse this process uh, with diet, with correct supplementation, with avoidance of certain things that are uh, cause causation factors. And there's no need to have um, uh, blocked uh, blood vessels uh, if you know what to do about it. So I'm a nutrition and wellness coach. I do consultations in, in person and by phone. Uh, my name is Jim Jordan. My website is createvibranthealth.com. And my phone number for uh, office visits or phone consultations is 541-482-2250. Have a great day.